I'm often asked for more fish recipes. And since I love salmon, hi, I'm Jill from thisoldgal.com. Today I'm in the kitchen with Jill. I'm going to bring you a very easy one pot recipe using salmon. This is going to be a lemon butter salmon with rice peel off. I'm going to do a pot in a pot. This is going to be terrific. So the first thing you're going to want to do is rinse your rice really, really well. Rinse it until it runs clear. Dump it right in, right into the bottom of your pressure cooker. Okay, so I'm using chicken broth. You can use water, chicken broth, beef broth, whatever you want, vegetable broth. I mix it up with some better than bouillon chicken base. It's just easier that way. Pour this right into the pot. How about fish stock? Fish stock, you could use fish stock. That'd be great if you wanted. I'm also using, and this is a really neat trick and secret. I'm using dehydrated vegetables. See how nice they look? These are great when you can't get your vegetables in. This is gonna go into the pot and they're gonna hydrate back and be just perfect. Actually, they come, well, let me add them in. All right, just add them right in, just like that. They come in big bags. I'm going to link below where you can get them. We always keep a whole bunch. You know, sometimes we don't have our um, enough vegetables and we want to add vegetables. So sometimes if we're having soup, we might throw a handful in or something. All right, so I'm going to add some more water to the pot. You know, you can decide how many of the vegetables you want in your peel off. It's about twice as much water as vegetables. All right, so let's let's just mix that through just like that. So I added about a cup of the vegetables and I'm going to add a little bit extra water. Ed, I need another cup of water, please. I decided to add more. All right, so while Ed's getting me some water, I'm going to start with the fish. So what you're going to do is take a pan and you're going to want to put the salmon right into the pan. Ed tripped over the lights. Um, Ed, you can stand up and walk in front of the camera. It's fine. I just need the water. Don't worry about it. Cool. Nothing fancy here. So I'm going to add salmon fillet right into this little pan just like this just pile it in how it fits how much water um give me please about a quarter of a cup so we're going to add that in just like that okay see that now we're going to take some freshly squeezed lemon juice and just pour that right in and this couldn't be easier it's about a uh, three quarters of a cup of lemon juice. We'll use this for later. Butter, so you're gonna wanna cut your butter into pieces and just put it around. Nothing fancy, just cut the butter up however you want. Just like that. I'm just gonna cut it into chunks. Just like that, like that, and like that. You're gonna wanna take about two tablespoons and put it in with your vegetables and your rice. So just put this anywhere in here. This will melt nicely. Just get it right in there. Dump it in, dump it in, dump it in, like that. All right, you're also gonna want, our hands are really greasy, um, some garlic, fresh garlic. So just take some garlic, give it a smash, give it a nice mince, just like that. Right in with the salmon. Oh, thank you so much. I hate working with greasy hands. All right, take some more. Just give it a smash, give it a smash. Another smash. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm going to add some garlic to the rice. Have you ever had garlic rice? Oh my gosh, so good. I know Ed likes garlic rice. He's not a huge fan of salmon, so and make sure he gets some of these nice flavors. So I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic right to the rice, which becomes our rice pilaf, rice vegetable pilaf. And I'm gonna add the rest of this garlic to the salmon. 
and did you pour that water in? Okay. In then the I'm going to top this with dill like that. And that's it. Let's pour the rest of the water into here. Just give it a quick mix around like this. It's nice and colorful too. All right. So to do pot and pot, you're going to want to add a trivet. And since there's about this much water in it, get a long legged trivet. I'll link below where you can get one. So put that in there right on top. Now we've already made our salmon with the butter and the fresh lemon juice and dill. And dill. I'm going to put the top on. I'm using this um, Econova, Ecovana, what's it called? Ecovana top. It's got the holes in it so it can, the fish will steam. You know, if you wanted to put the fish right into the pot on top of the rice, you could also do that. You kind of risk the fish coming, becoming a little bit overcooked. But basically, I'm doing it separate because I'm trying to keep the flavor separate from Ed. Also, I really like it like this. So you can just serve it as is and I don't need to eat the rice if I'm doing low carb. So this way you have all the flavors in here together with the, uh, the butter and the uh, garlic and the dill and the lemons, it's perfect. So now that's all you do. I'm gonna lock on the lid. Make sure your pressure valve is closed and we're just going to cook it for four minutes. Once the cook time is up, we'll let it release naturally, which means do absolutely nothing. And then we'll finish releasing the rest of the pressure and then I will serve it up to you. See you in a few. We're back and the pressure has released. So I'm going to open the lid. Nice and hot. So we'll want to take out the salmon. It's going to be very hot. So we can get this out, the little mitts. I always have trouble getting this out. Okay. Okay, I'll just put it right on the counter. Be better to have a towel under it. You can see how wonderful this looks in here. The rice is nice and puffy, and the vegetables are puffy, and everything's puffy and nice. All right, so let's fluff up the rice a little bit. So the vegetables, just mix it all in. It smells delish. Smell good, Ed? Mm. Really nice. See that? All right, so it's going to serve it up. Let's check on the salmon. Open the lid. Wowza, wowza, wowza. Put it under here. Pick this up and show you how this is. Uh, see that? That one's cooked just right. So I'm going to serve some of this up. I'm just going to give Ed some rice because he, he's not going to eat the salmon, right? You won't taste it? You won't taste salmon. I love salmon. So let's give you some rice. I'm a white meat ocean fish eater. That's it. You want more than that or is that good? That's good. That's good. There's your fork. There you go. I'll take a little bit of rice. And I'm going to serve mine with some salmon. Get the salmon out of here. So this is, put this on here. Now you want to slice some lemon and when you serve it, put a piece of lemon with the salmon. It goes great. Is it too hot? No, I'm waiting for you. Oh, waiting for me for what? You could taste it while I'm doing this. That's fine. Okay. You don't have to hit me over the head with no tire tool twice. <laughs> My salmon is stuck. Okay, here we go. All right. So we're going to take out a piece of salmon, put it right on the plate. I don't think I need quite that much. Put that one back. And then I'm going to spoon over some of the lemon butter sauce. You can really taste the vegetables in there. Yeah? Good. Yeah. Lemon butter sauce just like that. I'm going to put them over the rice. Now again, if you're doing low carb, just eat the salmon. Have your friends eat the rice. Let me try it. I'll be the friend eating the rice. <laughs> Look how flaky this is. 
How flaky that salmon is. Perfect. I like it more lemony. Take a lemon, squeeze some lemon juice over it, a couple of slices, serve it just like this. Is that good? Taste a little bit of rice. Try not to eat too much rice. But look at those vegetables. They rehydrate nicely, and the amount of rice to vegetables is just perfect. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's hot. It's great. So, again, get the vegetables. I'm going to link below. They're great. Put them into anything. Give yourself more veggie nutrition. So you can find today's recipe with step-by-step -step directions at thisoldgal.com, and I will link all the different things down there as well. Thumbs up down below. <laughs> Please let me know in the comment section what you thought of our video, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I hope you'll follow me on Facebook at This Old Gal, where I post fun stuff, other videos, silly stuff, pictures. At Hale today, posted Hale pictures. You can also check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest at This Old Gal Cooks. Thank you so much for joining me on In the Kitchen with Jill. Um, bye. We will see you next time. Nothing to say? Nothing to say. Okay. He usually says, cut. And that's a wrap. There we go. <laughs> hey, everybody. Ed here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow us on social media. We'll see you in the next video.